وَمَا يَذَّكَّرُوا This is the conclusion of the ayah. Nobody makes a strong effort to remember. This is not something that you just learn one time and it stays with you. You actually have to continuously put an effort to remember. Nobody makes an effort to remember this, this teaching. إِلَّا أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ Nobody makes that effort except the people of the soundest minds. And so I'll say two comments about sound minds because we have 20 minutes before salah. This should take me five minutes and we're done for the day. Al-lub. Lub in the Arabic language uh, means uh, the essence of something, the core of something, okay? The heart of something. You know how in English literature you say, what's the heart of the matter? You know, or what's the essence of what you're saying? You know, get to the point, the point of something. Similarly, those of you that speak Urdu, baat ka lubbe lubab kya hai? It comes from the same Arabic origin, lub. The word labib in Arabic is used for a wise person, a smart person, a person who can take a hint. Inna labiba min al isharati yafhamu. This is the Arabic equivalent for a wise person can take a hint. You know, that's how they say it in Arabic. What what they say in Urdu, akal man kili ishara kafi hai. That's labib kili ishara kafi in Urdu. The Arabic, the word used for that is labib. But the original Arabic definition of it is fascinating. Al-lubbu aqlun salihun khalisun min al-shawaib. Lub is a sound mind that can free itself from vanities. Now let me explain what that means. On the one hand, a mind that is not filled with emotional disturbance. If you're constantly busy entertaining yourself, if you're constantly thinking about what the next meal is going to be, man, I need a burger, and then I need a pizza, and then I need a... It's all, it's all that's on your mind is some vain, like minuscule thing that preoccupies you. The next gadget occupies you. The next episode of whatever show occupies you. Okay? The, the next season occupies you. The next... Sporting event occupies you. The next playoffs occupy. That's you go just one vain thing to the next to the next to the next, and that is what has taken over your mind. Then you know you do. You may have a mind, but you don't have a lub. Lub is something that you can free yourself from these distracting thoughts and actually have to time to think for yourself. You know there are people today when they wake up, they have their phone with them, text message, Facebook update, Instagram update, tweet, tweet. WhatsApp, LOL, you know, emoji this, and video, and a cat playing a piano, and then some, you know, the one thing to another. And you're constantly just connected. And when you're not connected, you're on a, you know, we don't have that problem in Dallas, but you're on a subway in New York City, and there's no Wi-Fi, and there's no 3G, and there's no phone connection. People are like, ah, oh, oh, what am I going to do? And they plug in their headphones, and they got to listen to a song, and they're sitting there doing zikr, you know? Because you, you're almost afraid to be alone with your thoughts. You're almost afraid. And th those people who, don't, who are not into gadgets, they'll just buy novels. And they're sitting there reading a story, immersed in the story. Right? You're, you constantly have to plug your mind into something. Who not anymore has the time to do what Allah said when He says, أَفَلَا يَنظُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبِلِ كَيْفَ خُلِقَتْ وَإِلَى السَّمَاءِ كَيْفَ رُفِعَتْ وَإِلَى الْجِبَالِ كَيْفَ نُصِبَتْ Didn't they look at the camel, how marvelously it was created? Or didn't they ever look at the sky? Okay, fine, I'll watch a video of the sky. No, look at the sky. Go think about the sky. And just marvel at this creation. Go, go to, you know, Texas has some of the best night sky. You know, where you can see the starry night. Go and just, just quiet and ponder. Just think. Just reflect. Because that is an essential necessity of a human being to remain a person of lub. The time to think for yourself. To unplug. To not be around people. To not be chatting about one thing or another. Just to be with your thoughts and reflect and ponder. Just that. We no longer have time for that. We don't have to, time to think about what is it that I'm going to show Allah. I have a few years left here, maybe a, maybe a month, maybe a, a year, maybe 10 years. How long do I have left on this planet? I'm going to meet Allah pretty soon, whether I think about it or not. You are on a conveyor belt to your God, whether you like it or not, and you're going to meet Him. <laughs> you're marching towards your master, whether you like it or not. You can have your head this way, the belt is going that way, buddy. You know, you can close your eyes, you're still moving. You and I are heading to meet Allah. You can ignore it, you can pretend it's not there, you can just start a new show and watch its 50 episodes, 
You could do that, or you could take a break and say, I'm, I'm just going to think. What am I going to do? What is my life going to mean? What good am I leaving behind? What seed have I planted that will turn into 700 and 700 and 700? What khayr am I leaving behind? This requires a person to actually seek wisdom, to seek truth, to contemplate and reflect. We don't have time for that anymore. You know, Qur'an is not just something you can read, it's not just something you can memorize. Allah's complaint in the Qur'an is not, أَفَلَا يَحْفَظُونَ الْقُرْآنِ Why don't they memorize the Qur'an? His complaint in the Qur'an is, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ Don't they ponder? Don't they reflect? Don't they think deeply about the Qur'an? Nobody's gonna do that for you. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help myself do some of that myself. I'm trying to encourage you to do that yourself. You should see myself and others that are trying to teach something from the Qur'an as a means to a much bigger end. That end is your personal connection with Allah and reflection. Your personal recitation of the Qur'an and you pouring over the Qur'an because the ultimate wisdom is Qur'an. And I would read into this ayah, يُؤْتِ الْحِكْمَةَ مَنْ يَشَاءَ He gives the ultimate wisdom to whoever he wants. He gives the Qur'an to whoever he wants. And whoever has that ultimate wisdom has been given no, no greater good than this book.